Alright, so as a Star Wars fan, enthusiast, and nerd for the series, I'm personally stoked for this battle. Like, this shit's going to be lit. Uh, make sure to run the likes up, by the way. It's your boy Jobbers and Goons. Grab your lattes, grab your mochas, whatever the hell you call it. Settle in. This is the coffee shop. I'm your host today, and this is going to be fun. Now, this is a battle I've been waiting about a week or so to make. Um, announced it prior. Kit Fisto versus Shock T. A later Star Wars battle will be Plo Koon versus Darth Maul. Um, as well as I have Lucifer versus Null coming uh, today as well, hopefully. But anyways, getting back to this. Since I already did an individual breakdown on both Shock T and Kit Fisto, go watch both uh, if you haven't seen them yet. Uh, I will give a brief breakdown of both before I get into my conclusion on the battle. I hope you guys enjoy run the likes up let's try to get to like 100 or so and i'll start working on the other star wars battles but without further ado i hope you guys enjoy this is a battle between two of the greatest jedi masters of their era i hope you guys enjoy let's begin so first character in this battle shock t is a female jedi master from the clone wars era that survived order 66 and legends went on to live on Felucia, a dark side planet, and eventually met her end at the hands of Galen Merrick, aka Starkiller. Um, Shock T was well versed in star, uh, lightsaber combat. In terms of what style she used, she was a master of Makashi, one of the best of all time. She wasn't Count Dooku level in Form 2, however, she was elite. And this showed as she was able to take on multiple Magna Guards, even putting down some. She was able to take on Grievous himself, even when um, she was heavily fatigued. She was also the superior duelist to pre-Prime Starkiller. On top of Makashi, she also combines the likes of Ataru with her quick movements and, in my opinion, Naman to accompany her moves with Force abilities. Um, in terms of what force abilities she brings to the table, obviously telepathy, insight through the force, so things like precognition. She's also an empath. Uh, typically, her species are better at abilities like this with the force because of their literal biology, and she does capitalize on this. She also has um, telekinesis and is highly adept at that, one of the best masters in the order with it. But what makes her most dangerous is her alter environment abilities and the abilities to change the battlefield to her favor. In fact, it's so potent in this nature that the planet she lived on was an entire dark side nexus, essentially. And she was a beacon of light there, constantly fighting it off um, passively as well. And able to conform all the beasts and nature, natural environment around her to whatever she needed it to be including in the middle of an intense lightsaber combat this so this will no doubt be something she can employ mid combat on top of this her force abilities and experience allows her to be a highly intelligent fighter and she was considered by kenobi to be the most cunning jedi of their era now uh moving on let's talk about kit fisto real quick before we get to the uh conclusion of the battle Kit Fisto was a Nautilin Jedi Master Male who was highly famous for his roles he played in the Clone Wars as a general. Kit Fisto was a master of Form 1 lightsaber uh, combat, which is Shi Cho. Now, this is interesting. Typically, you would think, okay, someone like that wouldn't be that scary. But keep in mind, um, Luke, for the most part, when he started out as a duelist, including somewhat pressing Vader... Um, basically just had some of Shi Cho. Kit Fisto took Shi Cho to an extreme, like almost to an ungodly degree, sort of like Yoda would take a, um, a Taru. Kit Fisto fully trusted the Force and would allow himself to flow closely to the dark side as he allowed his blade to unorthodoxly strike and almost was like Juyo and his aggression and unyielding attack as well as he was very hard to predict and it allowed him to take on multiple opponents pretty casually as well as be very potent in uh outright duels he hasn't been able to go against um general grievous 
He's been able to contend with legends, uh, Ventress, who killed several Jedi. He was also able to duel with Kenobi uh, pre um, Revenge of the Sith era. And this was still a Kenobi that was practicing Sarisu. And Fisto was outright stated to be holding back because he was kind of the superior to Kenobi at that point. Um, I will. He also did, besides Mace, last the longest against Sidious after getting hit with a Force Scream. Plus, in the novel, like one of the novels, it was implied he was like distracted from Anakin's incoming presence, which allowed Sidious to quickly cut him down. So he is no joke as a duelist, and his unorthodox, randomized, ra uh, just savage style through Shi Cho makes him quite formidable. He's also very good in hand-to-hand -hand combat and was considered a martial hurricane when going all out. Now, on the Force side, if he's underwater, he's one of the strongest Force users of his time, period. Um, as he's even invented his own abilities underwater. But even above water, he is quite formidable with high degrees of Force augmentation, allowing him to be super fast. Um, as well as he constantly flows through the Force, so he has really good precognition in combat, allowing him to uh, free flow in combat and not be too worried about what's going on because of his trust in the Force. Uh, which guides him. He also has really good telekinetic uh, force pushes, which allows him to create separation and destroy characters outright. Um, he's also, in my opinion, um, probably one of the best at using uh, the force to physically augment and for acrobatics. So, like, he's gonna bounce around. He's gonna craftily uh, use the environment to his advantage in terms of moving around and creating space and taking away your space rapidly once he decides to strike um kit fisto was a very smart fighter able to go against grievous able to lead uh several successful campaigns throughout the clone wars and was considered one of the best jedi of all time according to mace windu himself as he was one of the four masters picked to go aid him against um uh, palpatine so if these two legendary Jedi Masters clashed, who do I think would win? We're gonna, let's go to, like, section by section, and I'll give you guys my opinion on physicality, right? Physical stats. I think Kit Fisto has an edge. I think in terms of speed, he actually might be slightly faster than Shock, who would... That's like her calling card is her speed and dexterity. I think he actually might be slightly better at that. However, I would like... It to be known that in physicality he is stronger than her by the way i do believe he's stronger um durability wise i think she has a case to be slightly more durable um but just physicality wise i don't think this is the biggest deciding factor in the fight this is one of the closest fights you'll see in verse but um it, it could be a factor down the road i'm just saying i don't think it'll be the biggest factor now let's move on to dueling right Who's the more skilled duelist? This is tough. After careful consideration reading through both materials, um, I give a slight edge to Kit Fisto. I think Kit Fisto, um, his randomized his attack, his focused and channeled aggression through the Force, as well as his accolades he's picked up throughout the Clone Wars, will be enough to be um, able to beat Shakti in a straight-up skilled duel. In my opinion, I do think his unorthodox style would eventually throw her off and he would catch her. However, Shakti is definitely skilled enough to go toe to toe with him for a prolonged period of time. Don't see either having the ability to put down the other quickly um, through dueling. However, I do think if they strictly dueled blade to blade, eventually Kit Fisto with his style would be able to take her down, though it would take a while. Now, moving on to intelligence, IQ, awareness. This is Shakti's game. I do think she's smarter than Kit Fisto. I think she's more cunning. She's gotten out of way worse situations. She's reacted faster and planned accordingly than Kit Fisto outright. Um, I do think, and, and with, you know, Kenobi served with both. And he said she was the smartest and most cunning of, his, of the era. So, obviously, we have several Jedi that have attested to the fact she's probably one of the smartest and most crafty 
And I think that was best displayed in her battle with Galen Merrick. Up until the time she got caught, she was styling on him and absolutely dominating the battlefield. So obviously, I give the edge in IQ, battlefield, awareness, all that to Shakti. Now, let's look at the Force. Who do I think has the advantage? This is very interesting. Most, I think, would initially side with Fisto, uh, especially with his accolades underwater. They're ridiculous. However, I favor Shock T. I think Shock T brings more to the table through the Force, especially in her prime, which in my opinion was when she was on Felucia, that will affect the battle more in her favor than it would for Kit. His telepathy and telekinetic attacks she could easily match, but he can't match her ability to change the battlefield to her favor alter the environment and i think she's more crafty in her force use so i i give the force edge to shock t so if these two were to battle square off who do i think wins in the highest of difficulty six out of ten i give this battle to shock t now let, let me explain i see her intelligence cunning and abilities through the force specifically alter environment and environmental control i see those being her biggest assets in this battle similar to the way asajj was quick and able to kind of mentally get the better of kit in their matchup be just a little more elusive more uh, um strategically aggressive and just a more wily combatant those seem to be the types that can take out kit Shakti's definitely that type. She's definitely skilled enough with the blade to contend with Kit, hold him off, and even potentially damage him herself. However, I do see through the force and her cunning, her getting the victory that way. I think she would alter the environment. Let's say we put it in a forest, he's going to get fucked. Let's say it's a regular, um, like, battlefield. Like, let's just say a clear battlefield, no one around them, like a, a dome, right? She would eventually lift the ground... Uh, drop something from the ceiling things of like that break up the dome get out of there stuff like that she's wild and will turn the environment at all costs to her favor skilled enough to last until then and ultimately i just think she's smarter and better with the force and relative and all the other categories that would shift the favor to fisto so in the end i see her taking it highest of difficulty six out of ten but anyways guys Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this battle. Who would you side with in this matchup? Legends vs. Legends. Fisto vs. T. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see more Star Wars battles, let me know you love it with the like button. Thank you so much for watching. This is The Coffee Shop. This has been your host, Jobbers and Goons. And I will see you all later. Peace.